Three, two, one. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast. Today is Sunday, August 16th, on a beautiful evening here in El Paso, Texas. This is episode number 41. Uh, today, guys, co host of the podcast, Misa, is here with us. Say what's up, Misa. Yo, yo, yo. What it do, what it do, what it do. <laughs> and also, guys, for episode number 41, we have a special friend of the podcast. His name is Danny Alvarado. Danny, go ahead and say what's up to the pod, man. What up, guys? Be Danny! Here. <laughs> da, 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 Danny! So this is Danny number two on the podcast. Yeah, so we had Second one Danny, Danny before. Shout out my boy Danny, Daniel Espindola. And today we are jo- so joined by a second Danny. So shout out to you for being on the podcast, man. Thank you for spending some time with us today. Guys, producer of the podcast, Lena, is still on her safari in Africa, her African safari. Yeah. She pet a lion yesterday. Dude, I was going to ask she, you, how she She doing? saw a little um, deer get destroyed and mauled by a pack yeah, of um, hyenas. So Amazing. Yeah. I'm jealous. So she'll be back That's for the next episode. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> it definitely is, man. So Show my kids the real world. Take them out there. So, Danny, like I said, welcome to the Conversing with Chris and Misa podcast. Uh, we're going to get a chance to get to know you, and our audience is going to get to know you. But before we uh, dive deep into our podcast, mm. we have a tradition that's unlike any other. A timeless masterpiece mm. where we ah, crack open our celebratory beer. So, oh. <laughs> Cheers to you guys. Hey, cheers. Yeah, what cheers. are you drinking over there, Danny? What are you drinking over there? I got to watch my calories. So. Select. Yes. Select. Yeah. Select. Yeah. All right, so hold on. We'll we're all, we're all buds here. And then I have something to say about what our boy Danny just did because he made me very proud. <laughs> all right, guys. It's gotten to the point, Misa, where we don't even have to tell our guests, yeah, like, Amazing. hey, make sure you have a beer if you want Amazing. or grab a beer. It's like, like five or six episodes. I think like in a four row. in a row. They're, they're like, here. snap. Snap, they want to be part of it, dude. That's one big thing. <laughs> That's a good tradition, dude. I'm, I'm happy. Dude, and I remember Blue was like, bro, don't ever stop doing that, dude. Yeah. Don't ever stop. <laughs> you know what's crazy, dude, gone. is like when I'm hanging out with somebody or my brother and he'll open a beer, like the first thing I think is like, dude, what? Who's, You're like, somebody's listening to our shit right who's now. Who's doing a podcast? Yeah, dude. Like, <laughs> hell yeah. All right, guys. So we're going to start off with the kicking things off segment. You realize last podcast we just blew that that segment out of the water we didn't even yeah, do dude. it but i mean it came out good dude it was okay it was worth it. i think it's because cool. of the people we were interviewing i was a little nervous so you know when you interview strangers it's a little different but so <laughs> let's do our kicking off the our kicking things off segment we go around the virtual zoom meeting we all tell a little bit new about what's going on with us um so i got something to say and mise is gonna laugh at this but I, you guys can't see this but there's a green screen behind us right and if you notice in our other videos we weren't using one and our image would be all choppy we'd come in and out like this right. but the way we have this green screen holding up right now you guys can't see it daddy we'll show you off camera later and that way you can laugh with us dude i'm scared for my life right now like i can't even turn around like this fully. is the you know when you see like a mexican car <laughs> like driving on the highway and they have like a portable air conditioner and like stuff. makeshift makeshift as hell yeah, dude. that's exactly yeah. what this fucking yeah. green screen there, is we use duct tape <laughs> there's duct um, tape a lamp, there's an iron an ironing iron board tape, an ironing board a dresser a, bed sheet. a dresser <laughs> yeah. yeah dude it's, 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 <laughs> so that's what's new with with me and us and misa for sure misa did you have anything else that's new with you <laughs> no man other than uh recently getting tested i i didn't think i would have to get tested but um, it was just something that uh, my wife also wanted to do and stuff. So I was like, oh, screw it. Hey, COVID so, testing. Through that whole COVID testing. And like I said, this past episode too, man, I didn't, I knew it was going to go up your nose, but I didn't know that that shit was going to like poke the shit out of your Impale brain. Impale your brain. Dude, yeah. Dude. <laughs> and, and like I said, dude, I, I drive up to this guy, roll down the window and this guy's like, hey, hello, you know, this is what's going to go in. And it's like a thing like this big. And then he's like, this this is how much is going to go in there. Did, did he administer it? Yeah, he did. Okay, so my, well, before we get to Danny's thoughts on uh, what's new with him real fast, my friend said they gave him a self-administered one. He had to do it himself. Oh, really? And I'm like, dude, I wouldn't be able to do it. I'd be like, yeah, or so, I would throw up or something. So anyway, Danny, uh, we'll get into more COVID talk later, but uh, sure. can you tell the podcast a little bit about what's new with you today? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of things actually. I just started in a basketball league, hey, the nice. Sunday league. It was it was a good game. We won. That's one thing. 
Another thing, I just got celebrated my five year anniversary with my wife hey. last week. So, Shout out. Good times, good times. And lastly, I can say that I went to a wedding yesterday. That Whoa. was really weird. Bro, you went to a COVID <laughs> wedding? That I went a... to a COVID wedding yesterday. How was my that, dude? Cousin got, my cousin got married. He's in the Navy. So yeah, we went to support him, but it was it was weird, but do you see nice. like that that yeah. that used to be the norm now you know like well just to, just to think that a basic dude, i have wedding. so many questions for you about this dude like, like i have like a billion it, questions about how does a wedding you, get down in COVID? COVID? number one is there a dance floor still <laughs> there was a dance floor i would say maybe three at a time four, <laughs> yes but it was like four <laughs> feet by four feet or maybe a little more but still, it was really small compared to any other dance floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like for the dollar dances, like it was per table. So we had like six tables, which was the max. And then they had to call a table and only two people can go up at oh, once. Shit. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's just weird, bro. Dude, it's like, hey, bro. we're almost like, up, you know bro. Be ready. Be <laughs> yeah, oh, back then there would be like a big ass line for everybody to get their chance to dance with the bride exactly but like it seems like they cut that shit out pretty much Definitely, man. we couldn't take our kids so wait, they cut that in half wait no kids at all at the wedding no kids at yeah, all and there, there were two that went but i mean that was for special reasons right. but sure. no kids that they, they told me not to even take my kiddos so was it like you had to wear a mask the whole time or? yes wearing a mask was Damn. to be in the lobby um the only time you could take it off was when you enter the reception but even then you still had to like use the hand sanitizer thing before you even enter oh, wow. see that just I means mean, like these people wanted to get married like really bad to to want to get married during a pandemic i mean congratulations to them that's all definitely. cool you know but for me i mean i would have just waited you know it's like girl look if you want to marry me then you could wait like five years until all this shit's over <laughs> you know like <laughs> if you want to marry me then we're really going to test your commitment and <laughs> yeah. see if you can get through and wait through a I'll world ask, pandemic i'll ask you again in 10 years <laughs> yeah. see if you still feel the same okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, another question that I have. I feel like it's not like a traditional wedding vibe that it's kind of just like, okay, let's just do this as fast as we can and let's get out of here. Is that is that so, kind of how it was? Or so did what's people, your question? Did so people question like, is, like linger around still or was it like they got married, you guys ate dinner and then... What, what it was is it was perfectly timed. So if the wedding started at 5.30, like everyone was already walking in at five there you couldn't be late to this yeah. wedding like this typical no hispanic no, wedding yeah you know? no tardiness here guys i know that's <laughs> exactly. hard for the hispanic so, people but yeah. none we got there like maybe 5 32 so obviously <laughs> there was like no there was no like people going into like kids walking with the rings none of that but as soon as the bride went in <laughs> that's when we snuck into the back and we had to stand up but there was like two chairs and then there were two chairs and then two chairs so do they, Very do they, limited. I would say about 35 people were in there. Okay. Probably around I don't know if this is a stupid question, but do they still like do the whole kiss, you may kiss the bride thing now? Dude, that's the stupidest yeah. question you've okay. ever asked. All right, that I mean, if you're going to be with that person, you yeah. might as well start right then and there. Huh? Yeah. Very <laughs> you might as well have done it and kissed with like a face mask on so yeah, that way you can it? remember like, oh, this was a pandemic wedding. Yeah. Was the bride and groom wearing a mask as well? No, oh, okay. they were not. I was gonna but say, every time they had to exit the the like reception area then had to put it on Damn, dude. Damn, that's crazy. Like, dude that's crazy giving out vaccines wow so at the end of the thing covid weddings guys <laughs> so if you ever wonder what a covid, COVID wedding, wedding is like uh, our boy danny is your expert on that so that's, that, um, that must have been weird for you dude it's just like it was weird man thing? especially you know how weddings go you yeah. see both big sides of the family and and it's party and you know. like cut like a four maybe even more like an eighth of the family was there hey Damn. yeah that's crazy uh i'll pass on covid weddings for now um <laughs> danny go ahead and uh um uh, well actually before we uh get into who you are a little bit um you were telling us a little bit before the the zoom call that you kind of checked out a few of our podcast episodes if you can just give us some thoughts or criticisms what you like or don't like from our podcast i mean i was gonna bring up that whole thing that i sometimes wouldn't see your your tech Oh, okay. but that green screen looks good. I'll tell you that yeah. right now. It looks Even a lot better. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, them, dude. Yeah. We, we I've seen good. the duct tape though. Oh, <laughs> I'm just that's, kidding. That's my little mustache right there. Oh, that's see, what it was. See right there. Yeah. That's my yep. duct tape. It's it's a mustache. So. <laughs> but um, I guess maybe a suggestions is I have heard throughout the podcast that you do say it's like please subscribe and all that stuff. Why don't you create a button 
and oh, just like, be like put a little subscribe yeah and just be it. like yeah. right here yeah that's At a good that's yeah, a good yeah, idea okay um we're we're barely like well i mean not barely but i'm starting to edit the video version a lot more because mm -hmm. when the podcast started it was on the audio only so it was only on spotify uh anchor app apple podcast and then once we realized that youtube was a huge like little mine that we had to like start breaking into uh we started uploading to youtube so i think out of like the 41 episodes only like eight of them or seven of them are available visually on youtube yeah dude we're trying to improve it like you said because yeah like misa was like dude i hate that i like yeah. keep coming in and out um but you see like that's cool that you brought it up that's today, cool that you brought it up today because we literally yeah. fixed the problem yeah. or but applied a it's band -aid. still it's, <laughs> it's still a work in progress i don't want to even look at it i don't even want to look at it just like yeah, and my it, dude, and like fair warning for everybody, guys, this green screen might come down at any second, <laughs> and if it does, you're gonna be like, oh, so dude, that's I'm really scared about that part right there, that, <laughs> yeah. that very sharp that's looking at me, dude. that sharp piece of glass from yeah. a broken fan that's holding it, up. dude. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so anyways, well, guys. thank you, Danny. Thank you for that feedback, dude. Um, we really, yeah. really appreciate people like you that actually gives us like um good ideas, good feedback. We love any feedback, but um, genuine feedback like that really really helps us out because um, i'm kind of tired of people telling me that we're doing badass which we are and i appreciate that but it's <laughs> yeah. like okay well then tell me what you know if something could be fixed you know let us know definitely there's always room for improvement yeah, man so definitely. uh danny so for the audience who does not know you for the people who do not know who you are um can you kind of just introduce yourself and a little bit about like what you do and who you are as a person i'm 29 years old almost 30 and thriving not quite there yet, hey. but um, Damn, thirty. Scary. I got two. I got two kiddos. I uh, worked almost in any industry that has to do with customer service. Hey. So I've worked in a restaurant, hotel, uh, Cinemark place, and now I'm in the logistics and the trucking customer service. Oh, so now I'm behind a computer. I like it. Yeah. I don't have to do this Especially during this whole COVID it's stuff, nice. dude. Oh man, well, that's the thing. Like work never stops for me. Hey, yeah, shout yeah, out. Um, but I mean, so, at least you're not, you don't have like customers in your face, you know? Absolutely, bro. Yeah. 100%. That's what's so, up, dude. Are, are you like me and Misa? Are you El Paso born and raised? Born and raised. Yeah. I actually lived, I don't even know, what do you call it? Northeast of Vinton, okay. which oh, was wow. Westway. You were in the, like the, what is it? The makeshift like town of Ciudad Juarez in a way. <laughs> right is it that uh, bad yeah it was like someone that like escaped immigration and started it <laughs> like a no. little community out there yeah yeah <laughs> oh shit okay i know where that is dude we all grew up here on the west side so that's what's up uh el paso born and raised shout out 915 yeah, yeah, yeah. Chico uh, town. el paso all day every day so you said you got two kids what are their ages i got a six-year-old he was born on St. Patty's Day. Hey. So Bro. that's going to give me trouble, guys. Yeah, hold on. Hey. Hey. What's, what's, what's trouble. your son's name? His name's Aiden. Okay, so Aiden, Aiden is going to turn the f up. Why did I bleep myself? He's going to turn the fuck up. <laughs> bleep. <I don't> <laughs> on his fucking birthday when he's like, it's like 16 or 17. St. Patty's just, just going something. fucking hard. Uh, he's like, yo, I want to show up, dude. It'd be cool. That, see, the thing that Danny's probably worried about is the way he's going to do it. He's, Danny just wants to make sure he does it right. Yeah, that's, that's true. Like, it let is me show better you than me. Yeah. For sure. Okay, so you have Aiden as your, as one of your kids. You see your oldest, mm -hmm. six years old, you said? He's my, he's my oldest, and then I got a little girl, three years old. Wrapped me around her finger, man. Hey, that's what's so. up, dude. I am actually childless. Uh, Misa's got two kids. He's got a girl and a boy. So shout mm -hmm. out to you guys for that. A round yes. of applause. I support the dads and the yes. dad buds. Yes. yes. Hell yes, dude. I, I don't have any kids. I do have two nephews. Misa met one of them yeah. yesterday, mm -hmm. so it's kind of cool. I do, like, even though I don't have kids, I can kind of feel, like, a vibe with me and him, like, kind of where, like, I feel like I kind of am responsible for teaching this kid a little bit of things and, like, making sure that, like, I can make his world a little bit better. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So Definitely, man. Shout out Definitely. to all the parents out there. Shout yeah, out to yeah, Misa's yeah, yeah. wife. Shout out to your wife or girlfriend. I don't know if you're married, but shout My out. My wife, five years, bro. Oh, five yeah, years. we talked like, about this. Dude, I always <laughs> do that. I always <laughs> do that. Something we talked about, and I'm like, oh, hey. It's all good. <laughs> uh, okay, dude. So uh, today's literally the very first day I've ever met you in my life. So um, nice to meet you, but you've known Misa for a while, so I guess can can you guys get into that and tell us a little bit about how you, you met? Dude, you know what? Um, I, I've been thinking the past couple of days of like exactly how we met. How, bro? And <laughs> and I can't really remember, but it all I know for a fact that we met through Josh Center. 
and I think the earliest memory that I have of actually meeting you, um, we maybe were at his house. It was at whose house? To Sean's maybe house? Maybe at Josh's house. Shout oh, out. that's where. I'm yeah, at. shout out to our boy Josh Center, by the way. Go check out his episode if you guys haven't. It's on YouTube all over the place. And shout out to his mom for checking out our live stream. Oh, that yeah. was fucking dope. Yeah, that was dope. I love her. Uh, but yeah, I, I just remember um, I met you and also um, Dominique, who's who just won um, a giveaway. Dude, we need to give her her fucking gift yeah, card. Yeah, she, she called me it. about it, but she pisses me off sometimes. You know? I know, like, but we still got to get... She sends me a text like, hey, what's up, Phil? I was like, yo, what? <laughs> but anyways, anyways, yeah, so uh, that's how I met him. But the thing is with Danny, I remember meeting him as Bean Bean. Bean bean. bean bean yeah wow. and i was like bean bean why bean bean you know like but um yeah that's that's where it started you know and then like a maybe like a couple of years later or a year later i moved into with uh, with omar and stuff and that's when we started mm -hmm. hanging out a lot more so why did they call you bean 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 that started with one of my crazy friends that looks exactly like steve-o <laughs> his name's jake <laughs> oh jake dude i forgot yeah, about jake. jake dude yeah me and him were roommates literally roommates like we had three bedroom apartment but he lived in my room okay so, <laughs> okay so yeah, yeah that's like a the true definition of a roommate bunk bed yeah mate. okay so no, no, he slept on the floor no bunk beds <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> just kidding but anyways um yeah he he was from florida sarasota and like we we became friends just because we would do crazy things together and there was one drunk night. He's all like, dude, bean, bean. It's like, bro, that's perfect. <laughs> I'm going to call you that from now on. And he would introduce me that way to everybody. That's how so, I met him, dude. I actually didn't know that it was his name, Danny, for a while. <laughs> and, and I just thought, like, why are they calling him bean, bean? Like, are they just trying to say that it's like super Mexican, dude? Or like... <laughs> Like, I was the one that spoke the best Spanish. Yeah, it's, probably, it's probably what it was. Bro, I did not even think about to like reference it like that. Like, damn, this that's guy's the first a beaner thing I, beaner. That's like, the first <laughs> thing I thought. It's like double beaner, you know, like double beans. It's like beans on beans or like beans, cheese, and then beans again. And a burrito. In a burrito, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's such a savage way to look at it. Fucking beaner beater. <laughs> I worked it. Put it to my advantage. No racial kind of thing, but. If it makes you feel a, a little bit better, they used to call me cat poop back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Chingon. Chingon. They called you Chingon? They, they called me Chingon. Hey. It was two guys that just started it off. And just because I transferred from Franklin to Canotillo and I joined the basketball team. And I guess they, chingon. my height grabbed the rim with two hands. So that's when. Yeah, we'll talk talking. about it. We'll, we'll talk some basketball a little later, but I got to say, man, Blue and, and Danny here are probably like the best basketball players that I've that I know of. Hey, you know, like really, really good players. And I'm not just saying this because they're friends. Like, I'll tell you straight up if you suck ass. Yeah. Like, Chris, I think you suck. <laughs> nah, like, dude. Maybe. I don't know. Nah, you just haven't seen. But anyway, yeah. how tall are you, dude? I'm six foot. OK, so that's OK. He's not it's that like tall. maybe Matt like Rivera's an inch shorter taller, than like yeah. Tony Parker. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spurs, by the way. Hell yeah. I mean, I, I was proud of them, man. Yeah, me I was too. proud of them, even though they didn't make it, but I think that's later, right? So, yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll get into that, but real fast, like, that's your NBA team? San Antonio Spurs, live or die, man. Okay. 100%. I was a huge Spurs fan until, okay, so real fast, like, I take credit for discovering Steph Curry within my inner circle in life. And, like, the people around you will literally, or around me, will literally tell you that I had pictures of fucking Steph Curry on my MySpace page when he was playing at Davidson. Like, I knew this guy was going to be the shit, dude. I knew it. Like, I mm -hmm. saw him play against Duke one day. Like, a fucking Monday night game, like, on ESPN. Duke versus Davidson in Duke. Cameron indoor, so it's fucking lit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And this guy, okay. dude, goes off for, like, 26, like, fucking four threes, five threes, and was just fucking working Duke. And when somebody works Duke single handedly by themselves like that, that's when you're like, Make oh, shit. but but Make even when he themselves. went when he went into the NBA, it's not like he Make blew up game, right bro. away, huh? No, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't blow up right away. He had well, he's always had ankle problems, ankle injuries. So through college and then into his early career in the NBA. And so what I was getting to is I used to be a Spurs fan, but once he got drafted by the Warriors, I started watching and li liking the Warriors. And Monte Ellis was there at the time. Dude, Monte Ellis was there at the time. He was the point guard. 
and fucking uh, him and Curry could not like get it together. And so they eventually got his ass out, Monte Ellis. And then once Curry was there and they established him as the, the point guard, like, dude, that team took off. And that's the reason I like called, the Warriors. He called Thompson. Yo. Well, <laughs> dude, well, that, well, that's the other thing about the Warriors. Those three guys were all in the same draft. Yeah, dude. They, they got were all Curry, drafted. Thompson, and Draymond in the second round, bro. Yep. Like, what a fucking draft, like, selection for, for your team, dude. You hit three, like, arguably three Hall of Famers. Yeah, definitely. Like, in one draft, dude. That is fucking mm-hmm. badass. Somebody give that guy a race. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. So, um, I asked Josh Center this, dude, because he's one of Misa's longest friends. I, I've i known Misa for a long time, but we haven't actually, like, hung out a lot. Like, now with the podcast, we do more. But it's not like I'm like you guys are more of his friends than I am his friend, you know. So mm-hmm. I try to ask you guys, like, can you give me like an embarrassing story or a moment with this guy? Put him on blast. It's too many, dude. Oh, well, I won't put him on blast. But you remember this game we used to play, bro, where it was like you would ask a question. Oh, dude. You would say, you would say yes. mine or something. What yeah. was it? Oh, me? Or, no, you this? said it. You said it already. That's 10 push ups right there. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do 10 push ups right now. You have to. That was our thing, man. All yeah. right. So hold on. I didn't get that. What it was. Okay. It? So let, let him explain. I, he created I, the game. Um, <laughs> actually, it was one of my uncles when I was very young created this game. And this game was called the game for li- the game of life or the game for life. Because literally, um, even to this day, Omar gets me all the time and shit. But um, the whole thing is like, you can't say one word ever. It doesn't matter. The thing, the word is, it's, I'll spell it out M I N E. Mine. Yes. Okay. So uh, if you if you can't say that, if somebody asks you hey, who's is that, and if you say it, it doesn't matter where you're at. Uh, uh, we've stopped in the middle of the doing? fucking freeway to pull over for somebody mm-hmm. to do ten pushups. Okay. So if you told me my name or my word was fucking napkin or some shit, right? No, right. But the, for everybody, it's the same word. Oh, it's the same word the same across word for, the board. Across okay. The board. So if I'm together with you and I'm like, uh, no, well, it doesn't count. It only counts if you're in the game and you ask me the question. So well, I, I you, would have if, to ask you like. Well, whose yeah. paper towels are those? Or something whose like that. Yeah. Yeah. Whose, whose beer, beer is this? Is and then if you yeah. guys, if we're in the game, let's just say we're in the game. Right. right. And if you guys say, well, that's mine. Right. Then I have to drop and do 10 drop push-ups. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Daddy's like, drop down right now. Yeah, dude. And, and I'm telling you, um, we fucking did this shit everywhere all the time. Like, I, 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 even till now, I haven't, I don't really even say the word at all. Like I'll say it in Spanish. It's just, esa madre es mía, like, or something, you know. Like it's using like that this, belongs to me. You know? Using like, a second language to get yeah, around. Yeah, dude. And and um, we we went we got serious about this shit, dude. Like um, um, I've gotten Dom over the phone. She's the only person I've gotten through text, you know. And, <laughs> and that shit was hilarious. So so would you guys do this like at a party? Like you guys are playing beer pot or something, and then Anyone. somebody's like, "Who's up next?" Or whose turn is it? And you're like, oh, "Who's mine?" It? Yeah. And then, Dude, and you know what? Um, one of the best times I ever caught somebody was with Omar. But Omar got me, dude. And it was during a, a beer pong game. You know, you're, you're really into this fucking game. And then Omar says something, and I said the fucking word. And everybody's like, oh! He was probably like, who threw this? Or whose ball is this? And then and I was like, all like, fuck. And I was like, wait. I acted like, I was like, wait, no. I was like, yeah. And then I asked Omar, well, what did I say? And then Omar ended up saying it. So then I was like, ah! <laughs> so then we both started doing push-ups together, but... <laughs> Um, that's funny, dude. Uh, that's a even till oh, now, bro. They, they try and get me, and fuck no. All right, dude. So I know we're gonna talk a little bit about NBA in a little, but I wanted to just ask you, like, um, who would you like? Because you you're playing in this rec league, right? Yeah. Okay. So, what would be like your preferred position if you could play any position on the basketball court? Uh, I'm usually a shooting guard, but since I'm pretty quick, I I bring up the ball. Yeah, you and usually handle the stuff. point. point yeah, I mean, with this team, I mean, it's crazy because since it was our first game, we expected like people that we didn't know, but it was literally just two guys and the three guys that I brought with me. So yeah. we only had five players. Oh, wow. We played the entire game, and I'm out of shape. Everyone's out of shape, and yeah, it was it was it was weird also because you got to shoot with the gun with the temperature at the door. You have to be wearing your mask right then and there. And then once you start playing, that's when you can take it off. Wow, oh, shit. And then it's they like sanitize the ball now. after every game. And um, what else was there? Oh, and you have you can't stay to watch anyone else play. Once your game is done, you got to go. Okay, so where is this uh, for the people in El Paso that like to play ball or that would ever be interested in getting into a league? Where is this league at? This is at the Dream Arena. That's downtown, right? Yeah. Well, I would say it's more closer to the east side. Oh, okay. By down Hawkins. Okay, that's a different place. I've never been there. 
Um, yeah, there's a Delta Center. That's probably where you're thinking of. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like thinking like I don't think the City Rex are are holding those because I knew that's where you used to play, right? Or that's yeah, where well, people. Used I, to I was play. in different leagues. I, I played in some Santa Teresa ones. I played in Delta, and you've been doing this I, for a while. I mean, since I could remember, you'd been playing on leagues and still shit. Still right? playing, man. Playing on two uh, knee surgeries, so sometimes I get hurt. But Damn. next week I'll put on a knee brace, even if I'm all swollen. I'll play. Hey, um, what's that your that number, person. dude? What's the number of choice? Twenty-two. Always. Twenty-two. Hey, I like My birthday that number. number. I like that number. That's a good number, dude. I like the number two, and then I like the number twenty-two. Like, <laughs> quite, no, you, dude, you I like Kawhi Leonard, God, then, bro. That's why. Like, you know, when you ever have you guys ever played like FIFA, Madden, Two yeah, K, yeah, yeah. and you create your own player yeah. and you give them a number. Mine was like, always number five or twenty-three. Like in in football, like if it was like a running back or someone I was creating, I was always number twenty-two. If it was in in basketball or soccer, number two all the time. I swear uh, to God, I'm not even lying about that. Well, Kawhi Leonard. You know what I mean? That was just like my fucking yeah. number. I don't know why I fucking like it so much, but <laughs> it was cool, dude. So what's your, um, if you had to say like the one like theme that keeps you coming back to basketball over and over despite injuries, like what is it about the game that you love so much? I'm just passionate about it, man. Like I love the, I, I see it as an art more than what people go to like exercise and stuff like that. Like I, I'll watch games, I'll break down passes, I'll see how they do the, pick and rolls like i know where these guys are going to shoot open shots that's where 2k is actually pretty cool too because they kind of developed this game to actually play like that yeah 2K, so, 2k will help you like understand basketball a little bit exactly. better i know people think it's stupid for me to say because it's a video game but i've never played like on a basketball team before but i remember mm -hmm. like when i was in high school i would play a fuckload of 2k and I would play with guys who played basketball, so they would explain, like, oh, cut or roll or set a right. pick here or whatever. Like, watch this guy. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So it kind of did help you, like, understand the game Vibing out. Oh, wait, you know no, what I mean? Football. So it's dope. I mean, I really fucking like it. I fuck with basketball, too. So, Misa. Yeah. We have this new segment we've been doing. I think we're going to scrap that music segment, dude. Because... I don't know. I think we should bring it back every now and then. <laughs> okay. We've been doing a music segment, and it's been like hit or miss. But this other segment we've been doing, this uh, it's called Thoughts from the Shower. Um, mm -hmm. And we do it with our boy Misa. It's been pretty funny. I like it. I laugh <laughs> all the time. So are you ready for that segment, Misa? Yeah, dude, I'm dirty as fuck. I need to take a shower. Danny, right are you ready for this? Let's go. All right, guys. So we're going to do um, – we'll take a break after this, but we're going to do what's called Thoughts from the Shower segment with Misa. Mm. Water on real quick. Mm -mm. Ah, damn. Hey. Hey. If you drop soap on the floor, is the floor clean or is the soap dirty? Mm. <coughs> hey. Hey, I've always, I've always wondered. If Cinderella's shoe fit perfectly, where did it fall off? <coughs> <laughs> mm, that bitch. Hey, bro, who put the alphabet in alphabetical order? <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> Danny, I have to ask you this. So, yeah. Misa just gave these ridiculous thoughts from the shower. Uh, one of them was, if you drop soap on the floor, is the floor clean or is the soap dirty? The other one was um, fucking... Hold on, dude, I can't remember. What was the second one? I forgot, too. <laughs> the third one was... Uh, fuck, I forgot the, the third second one. The second one was a Cinderella shoe. Oh, oh yeah. if Cinderella's shoe f fits perfect, why does it fall off? And then the last one was... That yeah, one made me the laugh. The alphabet. Oh, okay. Who put the, alf Who al put the fucking alphabet? An alphabetical In alphabetical An alphabetical motherfucking word. order. Okay. So out of those three, which one do you want to tackle first? Hmm. I don't know, man. I feel like Prince Charming got trapped. You no, you know what I think now? I think that chick planned that shit. You think huh. Cinderella? She ran out and she's all like, look, I'm going to throw my shoe out because there's no way somebody in this town has the same exact shoe size as me. Mm. So he's going to come look for me. Oh, so you think Cinderella plotted this? Yeah, dude, definitely. Okay. Uh, hey, she dude, was on a time frame. It's a prince, dog. <laughs> was she fucking gold, dude? <laughs> was she chasing the bag? She was chasing the bag, huh? Bag, yeah. Oh my god! Uh, hey, just so you guys know, like I, I, I can, I, like it's cool. Like I, hey. if Cinderella wants to chase a bag, I get it now. That's fine. So 
The world makes sense. Yeah. Chasing bags. What are they teaching? The, what are they teaching though? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it, it's making me want to go back to them old school Disney movies. Walt like Disney. Actually... What are you guys fucking doing? Well, you guys taught the girls to chase the bags. Okay, that's what you guys did. Dude, no wonder every uh, time. But I go... like Disney movies. Yeah, yeah I fuck too, with yeah. Disney movies too. But I was thinking, no wonder every time you go down Cincinnati, eventually you find like somebody's high heels just like <laughs> on the floor, and it's like, dude, somebody's looking for somebody. You know, like this bitch. Uh, okay, so the other one we wanted to tackle was if the soap hits the floor, is the soap dirty or is the floor clean? Yeah. I Which mean, one? Maybe both. I, I think you should probably use that soap to scrub the floor to make sure it's <laughs> clean and then pick it up and like wash your hands. Yeah, but see, when you're scrubbing the floor with the soap, does the soap get dirty or does, you know, how does that happen? How? how... No, I think that the soap comes off, right? Once you use it. Hold I on. feel like the, hold on, Denny. The, let me write this down. Yeah, write you're, this. You're making sense right yeah, now. Yeah, dude, write this down because <laughs> you're boggling my mind. But yeah, grab that napkin. I feel like if you drop the flo- the soap on the floor, I don't think the soap is dirty, and I don't think the floor is clean. I think it just happens, and it's just like. Pfft. Yeah, but let's say let's say the floor was dirty. Then I guess yeah, the soap would be dirty. But I don't think the floor would now be clean because you dropped soap on it. Like Danny said, you'd have to give it some some labor, scrub I it out. So. All right, well, myth busted. <laughs> we will never know, I guess. I guess until we try it. All right, what was the last one, Misa? Um, the alphabetical order thing. Alpha, dude, this is the best one. And and you know what? That makes me think. That's why maybe, I saved it for last. Maybe it was just like by chance. Like maybe this guy had all these letters in front of him, and he's all like, "Well, fuck it. This one could go first, and then this one could go second. I mean, we could have started off with like X, X, B, C, D. You know, like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then algebra wouldn't work. Uh, L-S-J-K-L-M-N-O-P-S-T-R-S-W-X-Y-A-Z-B. It's a hit, dude. That was good. Hey, speaking of the alphabet, do you guys know your alphabetical shit like backwards? That's my worst fear in life to get pulled over by a cop and he says I've been drinking. But is that even real? Well, dude, and then he's thinking like your sobriety is based on the fact that can you recite your alphabet backwards? Yeah, it's stupid. I can't fucking do that. Yeah, I, I, I'll be sober as shit, and I'd be like, I dropped out. I'd be like, fuck. Is, wait, does it end in Z? It, okay, Z, Z, Y, X, and then I think there's there's a W y. or the U's first, and then V or T, and then yeah, SUV. Dude, I'd be or, I'd be in jail. Yeah, I would go to jail, yeah, dude. That's sure. what I'm saying. I'm, I'm like, how, how, how can right, they right, base le- that on this? Legally, all you gotta say is, I, I can't do that. I don't answer so, like, Not that many people can do that. Yeah, yeah, but I think still here in Texas, since they're so fucking crazy and you refuse, they'll be like, hands behind your back, asshole. We're drawing blood. You can, it's like I, <laughs> you can tell them, it's like, I'll demonstrate a different way and then like do that cowboy dance. Yeah. You remember? You remember that video? Yeah? Dude, that's the best video ever, dude. I love that shit. Uh, and then he's like, you dance really well. He's like, no, I'm just drunk. And he's like, ah! Oh, got him. Got him. <laughs> All right, so those are our fucking thoughts from the shower with Misa. Um, can get, I say one? Yeah, dude, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, right. dude, be one. the first. Do it. So, like, you can't spell quarantine without U R A Q T. Hey, that's a good one. I was also thinking another one. Like, have you guys seen that one meme where the dude's all like high as shit, and then he's like, I can't remember what it is. That's why I didn't want to say it. But he's like, if you buy an Apple car, does it still have Windows? <laughs> 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 oh Jesus! Probably not, right? I don't know. I don't no, know. It's, touch, it's just you have to push all, the little hole button to open your car, and then the <laughs> the car won't even like ha- it'll just be like. It's gonna be a thumbprint. <laughs> <laughs> it just opens somehow. <laughs> that shit would be crazy. All right, guys. So we are at the thirty-five minute mark. This is episode 41, Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast featuring our boy Danny Alvarado. Uh, Make sure to go check us out on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Make sure to hit the motherfucking subscribe button. Right here. And also, yeah, somewhere (laughs) in here, somewhere, maybe (laughs) over here, maybe over there, maybe (laughs) over here, somewhere. We're working on that. Um, And also on Apple Podcasts, if you can leave us a rating and a review. What that does for us, guys, is it gets us like on the trending charts so more people will see our podcast and different people will listen. Yep. So if you guys can do that, that will really help us a lot. But we're going to take a break and we'll be back with episode number 41. Let's take this break and we'll get back into it. What is up, everyone? 
My name is Chris from Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast. Today, I am here to talk to you guys about the Anchor app. If you haven't heard about the Anchor app, the Anchor app is the easiest way for you to make a podcast. Just like I did, you can create your very own podcast. The best thing about the Anchor app is, number one, it's completely 100% free to use. Number two, it is really easy to use. So if you're not good with technology, like my producer Lena here, this app is perfect for you. Number three, the app is available for download from your app store. The Anchor app provides certain tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. This means that additional recording software is not needed. Get it out of here. Anchor will distribute your distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many other platforms. Best part is you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It t- it's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. So guys, open your app store, download the free Anchor app today, or go to anchor.fm to get started. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back from our break. This is episode number 41 featuring our boy, Danny Alvarado. Uh, thanks again for being on the podcast, man. Shout out to you. Um, how are you feeling the vibe today? Good combos. Hey, yeah, that first, that first half went pretty fast. So uh, before we get into the podcast, guys, make sure to uh, check us out at Facebook, Instagram, uh, Spotify, uh, Apple Music, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You guys already know where to find us. And also show you, show your friends, show your family, show people you know. So in the second half of the podcast, we're going to do some of our normal segments. Um, but we're also going to talk a little bit about some NBA since our boy Danny here likes to hoop. We're going to just talk some hoops in general. We're not going to like get in into like breaking down like these current games. But we'll just talk a little bit about like... Who's your favorite player? Things like that. So we mentioned earlier you're a Spurs fan. I was a big Spurs fan. Like I said, we explained the whole Golden State thing. A uh, huge fan of Tim Duncan, Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker, David Robinson, Pop. Pop, Pop. Pop as an individual is a badass fucking co- coach, and mm-hmm. he's like straight up, and he like literally will like side with the players on like the whole racial injustice thing and right. speaks out for him. So Pop is a badass. Really love him. Um, so yeah, who who do you like as a player? Who's your favorite player? Well, my favorite player is actually not with the Spurs right now, but it was Kawhi Leonard. Hey, I mean everything started off with Tim Duncan. Like I started hey. watching the Spurs when they first won a championship with Tim Duncan in 1999 with the Admiral. And mm-hmm. That was the last time they they played together, but got a championship. Mister Fundamental was Tim Duncan. Definitely, and then they had David actually, Robinson. There's there's a crazy stat on him that I just recently saw. There was the percentage on his bank shots no one comes even close to that bro it, it, it's a crazy statistic i wish i could look it up and just tell you guys but you know I don't what that's true now that, thinking it's about a it crazy statistic, he man. did a lot of those and it, he's just like automatic and they're always numbers. money yeah it's automatic bam even yeah. on the even on the sunday the bank was always open for mr tony duncan <laughs> bro that shit was open all the fucking time yep. you, you know with the, when it comes with like disperse and stuff like uh, i became a fan because of my stepdad and and that was like around eight nine years old and you know that's around that time 98 99 so tim duncan you know was a rookie and stuff but i remember to this day how i i just liked how before the game started tim duncan just grabs the ball and, and dude you know what i picked that shit up too you know once i started playing ball it's just like for fucks i was like man dude make me like duncan you know that guy's in the hall of fame now man and he's doing commercials on doom buggies and stuff so he's living his it. best life I love it, dude. right he, now even he, tony parker's like i like this place i don't know if you guys ever seen that first commercial it's, it's pretty hilarious <laughs> but um going back to my favorite player man it's Kawhi leonard 100 yeah. percent. even right now he's still my favorite player because i i believe that he's the best two-way player in the world Hey. Or actually in the game right now. Even though Paul George, he's like right there to being a defensive player and out there too. But Bro, I think and like I don't know, this might just be me, but I think people low key, they still sleep on Durant, bro. He's a fucking animal. Oh, he's dude. a baller, bro. Like and 100%. because of his size, like just his size alone and what he does, like offensively, defensively, like he's a fucking beast. I think he to me is the best all all around player in the world right now over LeBron over anyone else and I and like because you know how he's been out for like he tore his ACL or his his um not Achilles. his ACL, Achilles in the finals I think dude this whole time he's gonna be rehabbing especially with COVID 
He's going to come back like a man he on the fucking mission. He was actually able bro. to play, man. He was able to play if he wanted to in this bubble, but he said yeah, that, he nah, like, he wasn't, nah. which is smart for him. Yeah, like, smart. Yeah. So, like, all wow, this see, extra I didn't time. Even know that. I dude, didn't know he was ready to go. Yeah, dude, all this extra time that he's had, when, once he comes back next year, like, he's going to be on a fucking mission. And you saw what he did I'm with Irving, the Warriors, bro. dude. And what he did with the Warriors, like, he, like, took that team and he's like, this is my fucking team, even with all those guys that are on it. Like, he took fucking control of that team, bro. He's a fucking beast. So you would go with And that's Curry. just the way Curry is, too, though. Yeah. When the way Curry played with Durant, he they made him more of a threat because there's two three-point shooters on two sides, and then they're like, okay, it's just... And then we got they, KZ. They don't guard us, but here's Durant. <laughs> yeah, How dude. do you stop that? Yeah, if for anybody who doesn't watch a lot of basketball or hasn't seen K- KD play with the Warriors, just go look up some of his best plays, like, as a Warrior and, like, his highlights, like... He's pulling up for for three on LeBron, like he's fucking slamming on guys, like like Dude, that team allowed him to be like the best best version of himself. You know what's what I mean? so crazy is the fact that like KD was with OKC when Harden was there and Westbrook, dude. Yeah, they had the original they, trio. They just didn't know. Damn, that's they had crazy. it, man. But they kept getting kicked out in the first round. The only thing now that I that I like is now Westbrook and Chris Paul are coming up in that bubble mm-hmm. matchup. So. That's going to be a good one to watch. But I also think um, they kind of were so young as players that they kind of needed to, like, get away and grow individually. You know what I mean? Because they all at that time, when you're that age, you're, like, young, 20, 21, 22, and you're in the league, and you're playing with two other kids that are the same age as you. And it's a, it's a competition. You're like, dude, I'm fucking better than these guys. But it's guys. not I know just this. that, but it's like, as you've seen throughout the years, these guys are, are franchise players. You know, it's hard to have three. And they know, went. Yeah. You know? And that's kind of so, what I'm saying. They know they're worse. So they're yeah. like, bro, I can go to any team and fucking right. do my shit here. Like, I don't need these guys. You yeah. know what I mean? Because, you know, they have those nights where KD's going off and then fucking there's Harden or, or Russell ball hogging. And like they lose at the last minute. Like, you know, KD in those moments was like, bro, I can do this anywhere. I don't need these fuckers. And yeah. they were both. They all had those thoughts. Russell had the thought. That's why Harden left right away. Yeah, Harden was like, bro, I can go ball up anywhere, bro. Like, I, you know what I mean? And you I still see don't like the step back, though, bro. Dude, hey, that's a travel. That's a fucking travel. Dude. That's all I gotta say. He's figured it out to the point where, like, he's so deadly with that shit, bro. I don't like it either. Give, I don't like his style of play, but. I'll give you a moment. You know what I mean? That Curry, you like Curry. Curry one time did the same thing. And they called a Harden travel did, on him. He put up the number. Yes. You remember? He was yes. like, one, three. He yes. Like and, like, cool. Well, there's also another one where he did it and they called a travel on him. And he's like, I just did what this guy fucking did. Mm-hmm. Like, and they're like, no, no. But like, it's the way that Harden plays, dude. Like, his ability to get to That's the his rim, signature. his ability to get fouled. But and, he's and, a shitty like, defensive player for sure. Probably one of the worst that I've seen. In there's his some position. good stops that he's done, but he's getting he better. He put no effort sometimes. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there, there is there is like clips on YouTube where you would see him like chilling, there. and then his guy would do like a backdoor cut and go to the base, like to the corner, and he's, and he's just there, like, <laughs> and then they'll, they'll score the three, and he throws up his hands, like, like yo, yo, who had him? Hey, like, <laughs> what? Nobody tell me. <laughs> hey, but um, quick question, oh, Danny, hilarious. who do you think is gonna take yeah. it this year? I don't know, man. That's a hard question. I, I don't. I don't want to say. I don't want to say the Lakers are gonna take it. Everyone favors them, absolutely, but. I don't know, man. It'd be like Lakers or Clippers, one of those two teams. I think they have, if anything, right now, I think it'd be a little bit more of the Clippers than the Lakers. Everyone wants to see the LA LA matchup. If they think that NBA is fixed, they'll make that happen. Oh, yeah. 100%. So I would have to say, it has. I'm going to go for the Clippers, obviously. Leonard's on there, but the Lakers have not been playing good. Yeah. AD hasn't been playing good. What about the Bucks? What do you think about the Milwaukee Bucks, dude? I mean, the Milwaukee Mavericks are Bucks still either. in, dude, and the Mavericks are doing good, man. Mavericks are my team that I would want them to right. win. I, I'm all about Luca. Luca, dude, that yep. kid is special, man. Triple double, mm-hmm. youngest player to have like that many amount of triple doubles. He's gonna catch up to Westbrook, guarantee it. I don't know. Yeah, I, I would have to probably go for the Clippers in the whole thing. What about you, Chris? Dude, I think that's too hard of a question to answer. I mean, like, the whole COVID thing kind of, like, makes the season, like, a one-off. Where it's, 100%. like, this is so different, dude. Like, this is, like, them playing these games at rec centers. Right. In closed doors, you know what I mean? And I feel like that's so much different from when they're there in an arena full of, like, thousands of people. Like, I feel 100%. like yeah. it's I almost agree. like 
the guys who get hot and like they start feeling it and like you're in that fucking type of pickup game because that's kind of what it feels like almost. It's, an, it, it's yeah. an energy, man. It's a different it's energy. So that's energy. why you see like like different guys now that are going off in the fucking bubble. Like you're like, who the fuck is that? Like Dame Lillard, he dropped sixty one. I mean, bro. he he's yeah. dropped he high amounts. MVP. Yeah, he's dropped high amounts before. But like I'm saying, like in a game like that where this guy's feeling it and he, he's getting hot. I feel like when you're playing like the Portland Blazers, Trail Blazers against the Warriors, and you're playing in fucking um, San Francisco where they play now, the energy of the crowd is going to suppress like what Lillard's doing. You know what I mean? You take that away now, you're just in a, a fucking wreck in a, at a gym. Like he's like, dude, I'm balling all night. Like I'm on fire today. It's talent, man. That's yeah. a, that's the thing. This this bubble. Has just brought out talent. Yeah, you saw it in the signs, book, dude. dude. I give props to that Devin man Booker so much. Was on oh my fuck god, on a spree, bro. Different level, man. Different level. Who who would be talking about Phoenix? Yeah, and exactly, so this guy dude. showed up, man. And I kind of feel like that kind of almost proves my point in a way because he plays in a shitty market in Phoenix. They never have probably. Really Draymond good. Green got fined for that. Yeah, you hear that? It, yo, yeah. well, yeah, <laughs> but it's true. He's, <laughs> He's not saying anything that's true, and then or that's not true, and then their crowd environment probably isn't ever good, really, for home games. So like, wait, what did he say? Draymond said that he needs to get, get out of get Phoenix. my man out of Phoenix. Yeah. That's what he, he said. Got He's fun. like, he got dude, fun. Book is such a baller, but get my man out of Phoenix. Yeah. And you're not supposed to say that because, because you're like on live feed, you're on ESP, and you're not supposed to encourage anything for them to go to another team well not only that like you're like uh you're fucking taking a shot at the organization and the brand and the city of phoenix and everything but hell's up with nba yeah dude but yeah that shit's crazy but business bro that's literally what it is just business but yeah the the bubble's been cool it's cool to see like all the like i said you know who i'm very impressed by dude that i thought was such a shitty player was kuzma yeah that game went in three dude he's been in and out He's yeah, been, he's okay still, dude. He's not but, like you know. People are talking now. Like, can they have like the big three now? No, you know, including him. No, with, no, no, no. With no. Davis, he hasn't and shown LeBron, that in these last you know? games. Though. Nope, no way, dude. But, if you watch that Kyle Kuzma three to win the game, um, if you look when you see LeBron shoot to the other he's side, like this. well, he's fucking like play. all the Nuggets go that way, like all of them, literally all of them. And then Kuzma just like happens to be like wide open. Like LeBron created that for him. So hey, but you know what? Like when it comes to the Lakers, dude, I, I actually like the Lakers mostly only because of Danny Green. True. You know, being from from the Spurs, dude. He was with like, the Spurs for but so the long. thing is, is like he was a um, he'd come over to El Paso a lot. He had a lot of interviews there with yeah, the yeah. He Adams had a camp show. here, at yeah. High Ridge, right? Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, so he had a basketball that, that for me was a lot of respect, regardless uh, where he dude, goes, definitely. dude. Fuck yeah, I still Danny follow Green. that guy definitely. Yeah. All right, dude. So. We have a question to ask you. Do you think I could beat Misa in a game of 21? Hmm. How long has it been since either of you guys played? <laughs> I actually went to go play ball. That. Like, I haven't played in a very long time. I played a full game maybe like a month ago. But I used to that. fucking hoop, dude. I used to play like a lot. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, I, I mean, a that's, lot, that's a the lot memories that I have of Chris in middle school. It, it's just playing ball, basketball. But, I mean, that's the last time we were ever really hung out until with this podcast started. So, Mm -hmm. but even then I still get, you know, we've had several podcasts with some of his friends are like, dude, this guy was a baller. I'm telling you, dude, I'm not just saying it for no reason. Like I, like I could hold my own, you know what I mean? I would go to the the high Ridge wreck, like religiously every single fucking day and be there for like, then how come you don't recognize me? (laughs) Well, I feel like we're the same age and I feel like we were probably there at the same time, dude. Like I'm, I'm not even kidding. I was a lot skinnier back then. I looked way different, but, um. Yeah, like we all looked way different. That was like ten fucking years ago. Danny looks more the same, than that. Dude. No, Danny looks the same. You know what I mean? <laughs> I probably ran a pickup game with you at one point. Probably. Dude. You just have Could no be. idea because I didn't know you. You know, but yeah. I would always play with people. See, I and like, I was doing the same thing, but I was I was playing right down the street right here on Montoya at the uh, park, Coke's Park. Yep, I know where that's yep. at. And yeah. I, and I remember you know going with Danny a few times, and that's when I, like I remember the first few times that I went with this guy, and and I knew he played. But I didn't know he was that good, dude. Like, <laughs> like for his size, dude. This guy played like a six foot five, dude. You know, like just hops, it's speed. Important. You know, like dude, I was just glad to gotta be play that team. way, man. That's the only way just, you're gonna 
improve yourself is that you got to pretend you're six five or yep. you got to pretend that every well, shot yeah, is it sucks, go but then, you know, see that sucks because i've thought like that like you know like a breakaway and shit he thinks he's six five goes to slam it <laughs> yeah dude and then bam fucking air and it just <laughs> gets caught yeah. on the rim huh so um <laughs> so you gotta uh, you gotta answer the question who would win me and i think Misa? it would be like a like i think I have to play both of you guys in 21, and then I'll determine. Hey, that. that's a good, that's a good deal, dude. We gotta go, dude. It'd be two of us against Danny, just to just make it, it fair. Uh, okay. <laughs> but I guess to answer your question, um, were you a shooter? Yes, sir. Or you were a shooter? Misa is more of the aggressive guy to go in. It depends how good your shot is. And bro, I, I eat though. those guys up, bro. You trust me. Up. Trust How's your defense? I think it while, depends on the defense. To, I think the, def you shoot shoot? the defense yeah. is probably the fucking part I'm worried about the most because I'm not that quick anymore. This guy runs in circles, man. But I could still get so up shots. Up. You know what I, I mean? Do. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. dude, all I have to do is take probably like ten warm up shots and then like see one go through the net and it's kind of just gonna come back. Look, it's it's gonna come down to this, dude. Chris is gonna be probably the first guy I ever dunk on. <laughs> that's not gonna happen i will fucking There's kick you in the balls i'll kick you in the balls before <laughs> you fucking tea bag them on the way out there and shit. man is anyone wearing a mascot too using that trampoline you're using dude, it'd, be, it'd be danny like on fours all like fours hold on my turn just, man. all right dude so are you a football fan at all i am a cowboys fan okay Liver shout day. out to you yes sir yeah, I'd like Get the, the fuck too. out of here with your bitch ass Chargers, fucking Misa. You know, hey, what do you have to talk I, shit? I respect, when do I ever talk I shit about Misa. the Cowboys? I gotta respect Misa because you gotta you gotta give him his props. He's not one of those to yeah, jump. Dude. All right, so. I have, dude. I have, dude. I have this feeling <laughs> that these guys are gonna go like three in a row. I got Super a Bowls. feeling. No, yes, it's not dude. gonna happen. Okay, so Misa, <laughs> uh, before um, I die, so it could be like no. fifty years from now. Nope, not gonna it's happen. Gonna happen as long as the NFL is around, you guys are never gonna win another. Bro, Super okay, Bowl. the. The Cubs, right? How long did it go? 111 without? years. Exactly. Or some but shit. then eventually it happened, right? Yeah, but that's so still not going to happen to you guys. Whatever. All right. Anyway. Um, so, since you like football, dude, what would you say is like the best food to eat while watching a sporting event? Ooh. Like, either, and it could be like if it's something like that you get at the stadium, or it could be something that you order like to bring home for or everybody cook. to nah, eat, bro. or something you could. I think you got to. I think you gotta eat before you go to the stadium because you're just gonna be drinking. Dang. Hey, true. But um. But let's say you're at I, home. Let's say you're yeah, at home. home just chilling, right? Right. I'd have to probably go for some nachos. If Dude, I was, I was about to, to say make it all the time. Nachos, it. like 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 with steak on there, all the like or fucking chicken, fully loaded. Whatever. Nachos. Okay. I think I'm going with the traditional buffalo wings, dude. Yeah. Uh, Aye. Yeah, I can't get you can't go wrong with wings and football, dude. They go together, you know, like ranch, macaroni ranch and cheese. cheese. Ranch. I've seen that commercial where they fight, though. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 we're not. That's not gonna happen. We're just gonna have a bunch of buffalo wings. How do wings. you know? I, just, I can feel it. Dude. I can feel it. That's not what's gonna happen. Get a bunch of fucking wings. We'll we'll bathe ourselves in ranch, and we'll watch some fucking football. Dude, have you ever had jalapeno that. ranch? No, but I, I would All be down to rich. try it. Where'd you try that at? Whataburger? Yeah, that sounds delicious. I feel, I try I feel that? like that's some, something Whataburger <laughs> would have. Jalapeno Ranch. that's something that Alamo has. Alamo Draft House? Mm-hmm. They okay. give it with a buffalo cauliflower. No, it's vegan ranch. Apologize. Okay. That's it. Those oh, sound man. good. I don't know. It, it, not, there's Jalapeno Ranch, guys. I know there is. Yeah, yeah there is. I've heard of it. I don't remember. Uh, First what time would, I hear about it. What would be your, like number one condiment for food like if you can only use one condiment the rest of your life like the other day we asked this to rico and he said ranch but what would yours be man would have to be valentina Aye. Aye. some hot sauce mexican hot sauce dude we we have this like two gallon thing at work that somebody bought and then we just fill it up and and, and we we've had like three different bosses and they're all white dudes so every time they come they're like what the hell is that I was like, dude, that's hot sauce it's like what wow. like and we 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 fill it up at least like once every other month, dude. Imagine like a hot sauce water fountain. Hey, down. Like, like you just go up to it, press the fucking button, just a, just a spill, like, just fucking. You just put your plate right under it, dude. That would be oh yeah, man, genius. I love hot sauce. If they can do that with nacho cheese, I'm sure they. Yeah, can. dude. Hey, right? Dude. Come on, hot sauce. My favorite hot they sauce is... They do it with is, chili, uh, dude. I get confused sometimes how this, like, all this chili comes out of that little hole. That little hole. At the yeah. gas station. You're like, like uh-oh, that's not good. That but then, like, it comes out, like, full. Like, you see a full bean right there. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's because when once the bean hits your nachos, it forms. 
<laughs> you know, like once the air hits it, that it's is. like technology now. Oh, that's dude. disgusting. Like, Yo, weird. Um, <laughs> my favorite hot sauce is Louisiana hot sauce. I think that's that one's. Yeah, a that's shit. my grandparents. Yeah. Louisiana hot sauce. Yep. Luis e Ana. Right. <laughs> Luis e Ana. <laughs> that's how hey, they would that's say. That's awesome. It. That's pretty cool. Hey, that shit's Dude, fire. Having, I, I saw this picture of like somebody somewhere in Sam's. I think they were in Sam's or something, and they took a picture of this old man, and he had a little holster with like a fucking little hot sauce just waiting there. <laughs> You know, pull it out and just open, dude. Yeah, put he, it back he in. probably like flips it, like bam, yeah. opens it, like Fuck ah, yeah. flips it, close it, flips it back, and like he's surgical with yeah, it. Dude, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, dude. So since you're El Paso born and raised, we decided this would be a good question to ask you, food wise. Um, if one of these establishments had to go forever, would it be Chico's Tacos or would it be Water Burger? Hey. Oh, oh. Wow. did you see his face right there? Yeah, dude. Like, like the like, look in his eyes. Like, he's like. Fuck, man, you're going to make me choose? He's regretting having to be on this podcast yeah. now. The only thing is that I probably would choose... Whataburger. Something Chico's. 100%, dude. Whataburger. Whataburger, 100%. There are more than just one sandwich that I like from there. Okay, and so so you're good. saying Chico's yeah. has to go then, right? Yeah, man, I don't like the end result sometimes. Some Chico's <laughs> sometimes. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. He's like, it tastes good, man. But, you know, it's when you get delicious. home and you face that bathroom at the end of the night, boy. You got to right. do it on your day off. Okay, so pretend that I'm your uh, your order taker at a Whataburger drive through right? And I'll play the part and everything. Um, can you just give us your Whataburger order? So you pull up to the drive through and it goes something like this. Hi, would you like to try our bacon ranch chicken sandwich today? No, thank you. <laughs> yes, what? what? <laughs> Okay, what can we get started for you today? Hmm, it's interesting you ask. <laughs> I want... <laughs> I like the bacon avocado burger. Bacon avocado burger. Any Anything like no onions or whatever? Anything, any special? Everything. Okay, would you like some ketchup? Spicy, regular? Spicy, and you better put six of those in there. Okay, what would, you like, what would you like to drink, sir? Powerade, no ice. Powerade, no ice. Okay, uh, go ahead and pull up to lane B. Uh, we'll have that right out for you, sir. Thank you. Did you need me to pay first? We'll charge you later. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll put it on your tab. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I didn't give him a total or nothing. Just giving out You're food. fired. <laughs> That's my first day. That's my first day. I literally started this shit hey. two seconds ago. There wasn't someone shadowing. Hey, but you. you you heard how I offered that promo at the beginning, right? That means something. That's water size? Yeah. What, do you want a water size? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm too late. So. No Lisa, what would be your answer? Are you getting rid of Whataburger or Chico's? I'm getting rid you know of what, Chico's. Dude, fuck uh, Chico's. Okay. Like, I feel like moment, he wanted to ask this question because he wants to say Chico's. No, well, yes, but <laughs> at, it, it ha it's different because, like, if it was, like, Chico, like 10 years ago, Chico's, then probably. We'll say Chico's in its prime. Like, uh, yeah, yeah Chico's in its prime because. Um, Still doesn't make a difference. In even, th even though, like, a lot of, like, Chico's is known for their flautas or their tacos or real tacos or whatever, like. Their burgers are fucking delicious as well. You know, that the, hot, the, dog, even, the hot dog burger is also fucking good. Even their little grilled cheese sandwiches for kids are fucking good, dude. Like, if you give me a choice, like, right now, and it's like, hey, do you want to go to Chico's? Like, good-ass Chico's or, like, Whataburger? And it's like, dude, Chico's. Right now, Chico's. Okay. You know? Do they have spicy ketchup there? No, but they, they Can have Can you pay with card? Food. They have those green they sauces, salsa. I like, though. Yeah, they have the green, green salsa, salsa, I guess. Yeah. Their fries are trash. Whataburger's fries are better. You have to yeah, but it. they don't put cheese on fucking Whataburger's fries, do they? That's true. Yeah, so. You know what I did? I would use those fries, and I would put them into my tomato sauce leftover. Yeah, yep. that's what I would do. I would ask for the cheese on the side as well. And then that way once Misa I was could... done with my real tacos, I'd put in all my fries and then add the cheese to that. And yep. We engineered our, like, everybody used to yeah. do that at Chico's Tacos. You engineer your own style. Yeah. You know what and I mean? That's what I like, dude. I mean, Whataburger is good. I like Whataburger because the breakfast is good too, man. You know those those taquitos and shit like that. That's fucking delicious. You know. I'm still going to Whataburger every day, bro, for sure. So, I'm sorry. Hey, uh, what do you feel about uh, steak pitos? <laughs> dude, shut the. <laughs> All steak right. Pitos. Hold on, hold on. Okay. No, stop, no, no, stop, no. stop, stop. Wow, wow. look. Okay, okay hold on. Your ass gets mad when I start <laughs> talking yeah, shit yeah. about steak pitos. <laughs> dude, <laughs> okay, shut look, up, look. Bro. A little background about. Fucking. The only reason I'm breathing this up. You're instigating this shit, Chris. You the just only reason I'm doing that. Yes, but there's a reason I'm doing that. Okay, look, Danny. The only reason I'm doing that, right? A long, we had a podcast a while back with our boy Nick, and we established that steak pedos is fire. Church Trash. Misa rebuttaled it. We almost kicked him off the podcast. It almost ended there, right? <laughs> Yesterday, we interviewed guys 
from fucking New York and New Jersey who don't know shit about El Paso. And one of them knew that Steak, steak Pitos was good. No, he only heard that Steak <laughs> Pitos was good. Well, that's and what i But th- it's just like by ear. Now, I got a question to ask you, Chris. And I hadn't asked you this just to end this whole fucking deal. All right. If Steak Pitos is so fucking good, why the fuck did they close? Maybe they're fucking. Shut biz- up. They're no. done because they're fucking trash. That's no, why. maybe they you have a, a business. That, well, you see Chico's okay, closed? Look, no. I know. But look. They are not on the same franchise level. So if they have a bad business that doesn't owner, matter. If it's, it's going to affect shit, them. It's going to last. No. Why you does everyone Kiki's like it? there forever. You know, like you got all this shit. I'm telling ha- you. you know, but who runs the shop means who, a lot, Misa. You got to think about that. Uh, Danny, no. uh, Steak Pitos, yes or no? Uh, I'm going to say yes. Because when I was in middle school, it was across the street. From where I was. See, that's the only reason. And He's, do you, I mean, do you think it's... Hungry, dude, they got to eat what's served, you know? But do you th- do you see like do you feel like it, it's like a a place where they should still be open because they're not? I mean, that's where it Subway comes in. Did you, you know, see like, that, Chris? They, it's trash. They can't make this no. sandwich. In other they can words, go somewhere else no. the only thing. reason why Danny went to that place is because it's across the street. If All it right, was dude. a fucking McDonald's, Danny would be going to that fucking. Misa, McDonald's. break down the screen screen and drive your ass dude, home because you're dude. off the podcast. Me and Danny <laughs> will handle the rest. You're trash. Anyways, man. it's just Chris is just mad that he he likes something that's fucking trash, and everybody else and likes it. Fine. But you, you think, <laughs> you think you, nobody else likes it, dude? <laughs> Daddy yes, likes it, but Danny's not the type of guy that's gonna be like, "Yo, it's the shit." And it's Nick the likes shit. it, and then the guys from New York like they it. don't like it. They think it's good because they've never even tried it, dude. Chris, okay, so I could just I could tell you guys that anything that you give me that I have to eat. All I need is some Valentina. Okay. And hey, eat. and then that makes it too. Okay. Right. Right. So, so what about right. without Valentina? See, that's a different story. <laughs> You're adding another ingredient that that restaurant itself is not that doesn't have it. Hey, guys, so. uh, we have breaking news on the podcast. This will be La- Misa's last episode with this guy. So thank you. Give him a give him a farewell, everyone. Thank you, Misa. Yeah. We wish you the best. I'm going to start my own, guys. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be called uh, Conversing with Misa and Steak <laughs> Pito Sucks Ass. Okay. <laughs> go podcast. make go make that <laughs> podcast. I'll be sure to follow it, Shane. Okay, so let's uh let's get ready to end this podcast, guys. Let's do the funniest scene from the internet today. Who wants to go first? Misa, you want to go first? You want me to go first? Danny, you want to go first? How we, how do we want to handle this? All right. So how about Misa? You started off. Yeah, yeah. This is just like a, somebody just posted this, and uh, and I felt like it it's it's uh it's something I would do like a hundred percent. And it says, if I ever get murdered, just know I talk shit until the bitter end. I feel like that's something you would do. Yeah. For real. Like, fuck you and your mom. But what if you get shot in the head? Like, you don't really have anything to fight for because you just get black. Yeah, well, before, it's like, fuck your mom in the back. Okay. (laughs) 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 Fuck that. (laughs) And then that guy would probably be fucking pissed at the fact that he couldn't say anything else. Like he's like, like, I'm no. glad I fucking killed that fucker. No, not even like. But he <laughs> said, "Fuck my mom." I couldn't tell him like, "Fuck you" uh, or anything. You know, I like, should bring him back to life. <laughs> take him to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Daddy, do you have yours ready? Yeah, actually, mine was. I'm a big fan of Marvel. You see back here. Yeah. You see the hat. I'm a big fan of Marvel. You guys saw that movie Endgame, right? Where Tony Stark is doing the little finger thing. It's like I am Tony Stark. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember that? Like part? at the end when he's putting on the. Yeah, the, the glove. The glove and shit. Well, I saw one today where Deadpool like knocks Tony Stark out of the way and then he puts on the glove and he's all like, "And I am Batman." <laughs> 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 that's something Deadpool would probably say. Dude, 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 that's fucking. That's hilarious. They should totally do like a whole cross movie with DC and Marvel, dude. I think that'd be dumb. They probably will eventually. If with they're the smart act- about with it, the it's same common. actors, dude. The if they're actors, smart about dude. it and they want to make a fuckload of money, which everybody does, want like that's what they're gonna do. So mine is a tweet, right? And uh, the tweet said it's from a girl and it says her. What drives a man to cheat? And then somebody replies, your car while you're at work. <laughs> <laughs> that's like savage bro, that's such <laughs> savage shit, bro. That's why. That's why girls think all of us are assholes, and I, I like we do have. They do uh, have a point in a way, uh, but like, what? Just to be able to come up with that, like, bro, like, give that guy dude, a reward. For yeah, that. Dude, that reminds me. That reminds me of that one a few episodes ago that I said, and it was something like, um. Like a girl asks, like, do do guys open doors anymore? <laughs> yeah. And then somebody's like, How the fuck do you think we get in? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Straight savagery, bro. For real. Uh, All right, guys. So that was our funniest scene from the internet today. Um, like we like to do with all of our guests here on the Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast, we like to ask them five random questions. We like to take a deep delve into the soul, into the consciousness of our guests. So, Danny, I don't even know. are you ready for five ready. random questions? Hey, we got to add that, that uh, random question, that, that extra question at the end that we did this past. The grandma one? Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. we'll do the grandma one at the very end. So there's going to be five random questions plus a bonus one at the very end. So... I'm ready for this. Everybody's ready. Question number one. If you had to choose one animal to help you win a fight, which animal would it be and why? Hey. Choose an animal? Damn, dude, Does that's... a dragon count? No, because there's dragons be, don't count. Yeah, They're not dragons real. Are real. All right. Well, not in our lifetime. Well, are they real? I don't know. Dragonfly. Komodo, oh, so a dragon, dragon. Okay, so you want <laughs> that? Dragon. Is that the dragon that you're choosing? <laughs> nah, no, no, okay. no. I wanted the flame throwing one. Okay, the Shrek dragon. But um, I would say <laughs> Lord of the Reeds. Disney, right? <laughs> Dude, the Lord of the Reeds dragon was real, bro. Smog. Dude, you, you did not want to fuck with that Dude, dragon. You could talk. Oh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> but oh, I guess I would choose a gorilla. Hey, oh see, shit! Dude, I think you should just go with an ape, like at all times. At dude. all times, right? They're the most like human, so it's like having a second human that yeah, will or like help a you brown out. bear, nah. black bear, or a velociraptor. You know, like <laughs> can't yeah. get one of those. Yeah, but he might want to fuck you up too. Yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't you seen the new movie. It's my boy Blue. Hey, hey. that's no so true. Thing. Oh shit! Shout out, Blue. Shout, right. out Blue. shout out Blue, and also shout out Mrs. Uncle. No, say I'm <laughs> <laughs> all right so question number two thank you uncle go to bed i'll right, see you no, later dude. for real dude. make sure to throw hey. your trash out you asshole okay you guys are too loud <laughs> mow the lawn too while you're at it oh, you motherfucker all yeah. right question number two what is something that everyone looks stupid doing mask on um <laughs> looking up at the waiter trying to figure out what they want to order when they're like uh <laughs> they look <laughs> <laughs> what's good can you recommend something, please? I've never been here before. I don't know what I like. Read. I recommend you read that fucking <laughs> menu right there. That's, a, that's, I don't, I think the another thing that people look stupid doing is like what Misa said when they try to put their mask on and shit, or they look stupid driving with their mask on. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. You know what I mean? I, but at the same time, I've caught myself like that too. Cause like I get out of work and I'm wearing my mask on. Like, I get in the it. car and I forget and I'm driving and okay. then I'm at a stop sign and I go to like, Scratch my nose and I was like, oh shit. But if I see you all the way by that time, like on Sunland Park, then I'm like, dude, come on. You've been driving for like 10 minutes. Well, I mean, let's say, I, let's, say I, let's say I'm infected with COVID-19. I don't want to like reinfect myself. You don't want to reinfect your car or infect your car? Or myself, dude. It's because stronger, let's, say, let's okay. say that's like my last day. Let's say it's like my last day of being sick. It's like COVID is like, yeah, I'm done. You know, but the car, like I've, I've been in there. You drop it on the yeah. car. Okay. And then and then I come in the next morning and then bam, I'm sick again. That's yeah, possible. Dude. Okay, so question number three. If you could only eat three types of food for the rest of your life, what would those foods be? Are we talking about a meal or just? Uh, yeah, let's go with three meals. We'll do that. Three meals. I would have to choose some chicken enchiladas. Oh, green or red? Both mixed. Oh, God oh, bless damn. you. God bless with a, you. With a, with an orizi egg on top. Oh, okay. oh there you dude, go. Yeah, it's over medium. I could probably okay, do so without the egg, but it's the enchiladas best, alone. Bro. Okay. It's the best. Number one, enchiladas. Number two would be tacos. Some um, just out of tacos? ground beef tacos, chicken tacos. I have to go steak, man. Steak. Oh yeah, dude. Okay. Some good steak, steak tacos, go. carne asadas. Okay. Number two, and carne asada tacos. Three. Potpourri. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on earth. Um, oh, now nah, I probably have to go with like a good ribeye steak. I okay. can with the mash with the loaded mashed potatoes. So you're a protein asparagus. guy, man. You're, a, you're a meat guy. dude. You have to, you know, man. Fuck yeah, me too, man. He wants all the meats, uh, dude. All yes, the sir. Meat. Okay, how's that ribeye getting cooked? Medium rare in my yeah, yes. Okay, there you go. Nice what, what about the sides next to your ribeye? Mashed potatoes, dude. So no loaded baked potato. Oh, ah, baked there you go. Very good. And asparagus, hell yes. Nice, nice. Yes. Sounds hungry, like, dude, dude sounds hungry. like you're like those three meals, if you had to have them every day for your life, 
You'd be set. Dude, yeah, and you'd be fucking like ripped. And too. you'd probably have muscles the size you'd of You'd probably look like the fucking gorilla that's <laughs> next to you yeah, yeah. fighting. Exactly. All right, question number four. What's your we favorite? We work out together. <laughs> <laughs> you spar with them and shit? What the fuck you get? He's all like, you're a little bitch. Come on. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah, he would be outworking you for probably, sure. Dude. Yeah. The gorillas yeah, are fucking strong, dude. Time. All right, dude. Question number four. What's your favorite time of day? My favorite time of day. You're a morning person, uh, late night guy. Oh, okay. Now. I was going to say, as soon as I walk into the door from work and I just hear my daughter just be like, Daddy. Hey, that's hey, the best time go. of the okay, day. Okay, that's a hey, good time I of the day. I love that shit, dude. Fuck so this. I guess late afternoon. Oh, late afternoon. <laughs> late afternoon. <laughs> For me, it's like mornings, dude. Like, like I, I wake up at the latest 2 o'clock in the morning to go to work, clocking at 3. So on my days off, dude, I wake up like five o'clock in the morning you know and i love it it's just like peaceful good, you know man. like i'll go outside in my patio or something and and you could barely see the sunlight coming out and it's just it's just quiet it's nice i'm a night person naturally no. with work it doesn't you know it doesn't allow me to live my life so yeah, well, kind of sucks I li- i've lived on both sides i used to work at the hotel and i had to be up at 4 30 in the morning to be there at 5 30 and then now i'm like at a eight, eight or five, so I wake up at six. But I know the whole morning stuff, man. Yeah, That's yeah, man. You're this ahead is... of the game, right yeah, there, bro. Exactly, dude. Honest. I mean, like ten o'clock comes, and it's like, dude, I've already been awake for six hours. You get. <laughs> So much shit done, and then like you see people you barely can play waking like three up. hours of video games, dude. That's dude. exactly what I do, dude. bro. That's that's my war zone <laughs> time right there. Question number five: <laughs> What crazy name would you give your child if you were a celebrity? Like you know how like Beyonce has like a kid named Apple or some shit. Like and then Kanye West has a kid named like like West West. <laughs> <laughs> I guess maybe a Phoenix. Hey, you know I, Phoenix. That's sick. I was thinking something like Superman. Like 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 a superhero name or some shit. Just name him name him like Taco or some shit. Like Barbacoa. <laughs> or or like Chile Cebolla Tomate. <laughs> Just for the fuck of it. Okay. <laughs> so last question, dude. This is a bonus question. And this one's really gonna test your character. So are you ready for this one? All right, ready. Would you slap my beautiful Mexican grandma in the face for a million dollars? Okay, so you say my grandma? No, or my who? my grandma. His for a million dollars. million His. dollars. You got to slap her in the face hard as fuck. For a million dollars. And she's in a wheelchair and she's blind from the left eye. I guess I got to cut it in half, but I'm going to probably say yes. <laughs> hey, benefit, hey, benefit. hey, dude, a million dollars would, you know, make people do some crazy shit. Uh, that's hilarious. All right. So can I use a glove? <laughs> you can do whatever you want, yeah. dude. As long can, as you slap her. As long as you <laughs> slap her. All right, guys. So <laughs> let's go ahead you and... You see, he's trying to be nice about it. No, nah, just know, like... whatever works. So <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, start wrapping up this podcast here. We're going to go around and give our final thoughts. Danny, do you want to give your final thoughts on the podcast today? I had a wonderful time, obviously, getting in touch, talking to Misa all over again, getting to meet someone new, you know. Obviously, you know your basketball stuff. And I mean, I've always been rooting for this guy, too. To make it, he's made it. I don't know, it was a pleasure. Thank you, bro. Thank you, brother. Me, some final thoughts today. Yeah, dude. Like Danny said, man, it's been a while, bro. Um, I, I was telling uh, Chris, um, how for a, for a good minute we were we were every day hanging out and shit. Um, you, you helped me get a job. You helped me out a lot, dude. So I, I appreciate you a lot, man. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for giving us your time, dude. Um, everybody listening, thanks again. Thank you, everybody. Make sure y'all stay safe and uh, stay fresh. All right, guys. Final thoughts on today's episode, episode number 41, Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast. Danny, just uh, one last time, we want to thank you for coming on and spending some time with us. So shout out to you. Um, But yeah, guys, this was another great episode. Uh, Make sure to check us out. YouTube, Spotify, Facebook, Instagram. You already know where to find us. Uh, Make sure to show your friends as well. And that's going to do it for this one, guys. We are out.